finally, 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 my first bull elk. I'm so excited. Couldn't guys. have asked for a more beautiful animal. Just absolutely stunning. Now, don't try this at home. Here I go. The goblin. Bull down, boys. <laughs> she fucking sucks. But it takes you some pretty cool places. This is the hardest I've ever worked with an animal before. First shot, and I'm vibrating. <laughs> I just shot I to go see it. my first bear with the bow. I almost got charged back there. So we gotta make this happen. These are some mean, mean animals. I'm shaking right now. Smoked them. On this week's episode, we're heading to the Rocky Mountains of Alberta. We've got team member Eric Labrie hoping to fill a trophy sheep tag. Now here in Alberta, Trophy Bighorn is a general tag for most areas. Not all, but most areas are. Eric's guided sheep for a couple years now, and he felt this year he's going to try and get one for himself. So we're going to follow him through his scouting trips in July and August, and then his hunt in mid-August. So check it out, guys. This is a hunt like none of the other ones we've done so far this year. You're going to enjoy it. Typical Nation is brought to you by Badlands Canada, Geopack Hunt, Phone Scope, Smith Game Calls, Dave Booth Taxidermy, Anderson's Long Range Baiting and Guiding, North Pro Sports, Kodiak LED Lighting. We had a bear come into camp last night and then we ended up seeing him down the river so we were pretty confident he took off. All was well last night, Coda stood guard. Now we got a river crossing to do pretty much right out of camp and then we're going to try and gain some elevation and See if we can find somewhere that's really good for glassing and just tear these mountains apart. Let's try our best to find some sheep. Ran into a few folks that know a little something something about a little something something about a little sheep hunting. So um, our scouting trip wasn't totally a bust. We know exactly where the sheep are and usually are. Ran into an ex-hunter, ex-outfitter, and uh, fish and wildlife folk that uh, know where the sheep are at. And they actually told us, which is nice and kind of odd of them. But at least we saw a goat. Yep, we saw a goat. In, a, in an unheard of spot. Yeah, every, well, all the people that we went by, they said they've like, never seen goats up here. And I don't know, I guess just, we were just lucky to spot it that day. We got it on tape. Geopack Hunt, inspired by nature, powered by technology.
plan, track, and recap your hunt with a premier app that enables high-tech GPS collaboration and real-time adventure like you've never had before. Get the app, invite your friends, and enjoy the experience. Everything you need as a hunter. Try it today for free in the App Store. After waiting 13 years at a chance at a world-class Saskatchewan elk, my opportunity finally arrived. With no prior experience of calling elk, Smith Game Calls got me up close and personal to elk on just my first day out. Before I knew it, I bugled in a 355-inch bull. Whether you're new to elk hunting or an experienced elk addict, bring Smith Game Calls along with you on your next elk hunt. Where are we going, Katie? Hunting. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the bumpy highway now into the mountains. Dylan's already waiting for us. He said uh, he said there's quite a few other groups there going in either scouting or hunting, but uh, where we're going, nobody else goes. So we're just gonna walk right on past them. All right, guys. So we made it to the trailhead finally. It's a little smoky, but uh, I'm just gonna show you here on my GeoPack Hunt app where we're going. So we're walking along the creek here, through this valley, and then hopefully uh, get up into some sheep all along here. You can see I've installed a wind vane here, and the app triangulates the wind, and it tells me the exact wind on that ridge, which is southwest right now, which is uh, just perfect for blowing all the smoke towards us. Let's hit the trail. Good on the hiking feet, at least. Get a little bit of cold water running through these toes. Woo. I always need like a couple seconds after my feet to readjust. Are those your bare feet? Yeah. <laughs> Check that puppy out. Dang, son. <laughs> Huh. Well, it's about noon, day two. Put on quite a few miles. We're just about to where uh, we stopped and stayed at camp on the scouting trip, which is the farthest we went in. We're just about there, and then it's uncharted territory, sort of. Only like 18 miles or 18 kilometers to go. But it's pretty. Sure is. Well, made it to camp for the night. There wasn't a whole lot, a whole lot of places to camp, so we just kept on going. We made it a few more miles than we thought we could today, which is good. Get some food in us. Good night's sleep. We got a little ways to go tomorrow still. It's gonna be a long pack out. Oh, we're all packed up. Managed to get a break in the rain. Get all of our stuff put away semi-dry at least. We uh, made a change of plans. And uh, we probably only got about a six kilometer hike today instead of like 14. So we're gonna head up to a different lake 
and uh, we're pretty close to it right now so hopefully we only got about a half day hike and then we can get a good half day of scouting in. Problem is it's pretty smoky and we can't exactly see any of the mountains around us. So. Just gotta keep reminding ourselves that there are sheep here somewhere. Oh, well, we're officially in sheep camp. It was a bit of a mad rush in the snow and the wind and everybody was freezing their ass off and Dylan was in shorts and we were all wet and it took a lot longer than we thought and one thing after the other. But as soon as we uh, popped up into this bowl, right away we saw about 15 ewes so we know sheep exist. They gotta have daddy somewhere. Boyfriends, big brothers. So we're gonna get some food in us, some warmth tonight. Hopefully, get a good sleep, and it's not so damn cold to the tomorrow. And hopefully, the snow all melts away. So far, so good. Don't see anything on that back face, eh? Officially sheep hunt now. Officially on the side of the mountain. There's still no ram spotted yet. But uh, we're working the opposite side of the U's and hopes we find a band. Officially day two of hunting, and uh, we actually have some sunshine today. The plan is to go around this other mountain that we haven't that uh, we haven't been around yet, and actually the one that we've seen the 30 U's on. Can we go up around the lake and just check out the uh, this next bowl behind this one that we're in, and hopefully we find some rams. Over the top, there's a cliff here behind us. We're gonna peek over. We will see the lake, and we spotted some. Uh, I think with our ewes down by the lake, but we were too far to tell. Definitely sheep. Hopefully they got some bone on them. Maybe they're rams. <sighs> lots of sheep trails here. Lots of traffic. We haven't spooked any yet, which is really good. And uh, got a pretty good vantage point from up here where we're glassing. And we can quickly bail off out of sight and put a stock on them where they are right now. Hopefully the ramps. <sighs> so we blew half of the ewes out of here, but the other half are just slowly making their way over the pass, which is exactly where we want to go. We were hoping they were going the other way, but they chose not to when we were behind this ridge and we kind of ran into them and spooked half of them up and the other half just kind of were working their way up anyway. So we're just waiting for the last couple that are skyline to go over slowly and then try and make a move. I can't decide if it's going to snow or rain yet. <laughs> Sheep hunting in August. August 26th. August 26th. Look at that. There's literally Three inches of snow around my tent. <laughs> Let's feed towards the left and bed down to the right. Well, one of those might be a ram in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up pretty chilly this morning. There was snow everywhere. Got ourselves a bit of a fire going with some wet wood. Try some stuff out. A little bit of sunshine behind us for once and actually half the snow on that mountain has melted off. I was up pretty early and I watched the, the ewes peek over the top and then I lost them for a while. But we're standing here just starting breakfast and uh, 
and they're right across the valley from camp. We're actually higher than some of them. There they are, chilling. All of our U's, none of our Rams. The old phone scope going. It's hard to tell with the glare. We're just gonna head up this saddle in front of us, get over the top, and uh, we'll be able to see the valley that was snowed in yesterday. Socked in, we can see, which is the same spot that our ewes came from this morning. So, maybe we can find their friends. Hoping. Run out of days. Nothing in this valley, up and over to the next. I was just waiting for these guys coming up behind me. Just had a little thought. <clears throat> you know, I've hunted pretty much everything else there is in Canada. I mean, find a doll sheep, lots of moose, White tail, of course, bears, and now bighorns, and even goats. But you know what? Goats have their own kind of thing with them. There, he goes to pretty sketchy places, with a, which is, if you're into that thing, cool in itself. But sheep hunting is the only hunting that sucks the whole time, no matter what. I mean, it's either raining on you or snowing. In which case you're wet and cold. Or it's nice and sunny. In which case you get to walk farther. Because you're not worried about getting wet or cold. And if you shoot something, it sucks because then you add another 80 pounds to your backpack. I don't even have a closing statement for that. That's it. <laughs> sheep hunting sucks. But it takes you some pretty cool places. Geopack Hunt. Inspired by nature. Powered by technology. Plan, track, and recap your hunt with a premier app that enables high-tech GPS collaboration and real-time adventure like you've never had before. Get the app, invite your friends, and enjoy the experience. Everything you need as a hunter. Try it today for free in the App Store. Dave Booth Taxidermy is Northern Alberta's foremost wildlife studio, offering world-class artistry and serving hunters for over 50 years. Check them out today at DaveBoothTaxidermy.com. A lot of guys don't like using spotting scopes because they say it's strenuous on their one eye that they're not using. Simple solution, use a phone scope.
Oh, it's the 28th, probably our last full day of hunting. So the weather's supposed to get bad tomorrow. So we might just bail off the mountain. But pushing hard today for sure. Climbing up the mountain behind camp. We haven't been up yet. There were some guys camped on the other side earlier this week, but they've been gone for a couple days now. Maybe we'll get lucky. We got a bunch of goats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. She is pretty. Came back here, just about start cooking dinner. I hear some rocks falling, and across from camp is a new group of 30 ewes. This has at least 31 in it. I counted. Our other ewes are all over here, where we know there's 28 of them. So there's literally ewes all over this valley. And two valleys that way and one valley this way, there's no rams. Just as fast as we came into sheep country. I mean, it seemed like forever, any backpacking trip does, but. Seems like in no time we're leaving again. Saw lots of new stuff, a lot of cool places. Saw a lot of sheep, the wrong ones, but we were in the right spot. Just wasn't where the rams were at the time. We had fun, it was all a learning experience for everybody. And I think everybody had a great time. Nobody got hurt. We all had to work really hard to get back here, and we're all proud of ourselves. <sighs> you, know, you know, there's a couple words that get thrown around in this industry quite a bit. It seem to be avoided nowadays. That's trophy hunting. Now, to a lot of people, trophy hunting is going out, shooting the biggest, best animal, just so you can hang it on your wall. And uh, now a lot of people are avoiding that phrase so that they don't get stuck with the stigma. My problem with that is, what's your trophy? Everybody should be different. Yeah, my trophy would be Nice set of ram horns strapped to my back right now. If I got one. But uh, it would also be the scars on my hips, the scratches, the blisters, the sore feet, the torn muscles, the lost weight. Just the experience. The experience of every hunt should be your trophy, regardless of whether you're successful or not. I guess you could just keep going deeper and deeper if you want, it's what's success. This was a success successful hunt. I saw a ton of sheep, just didn't see the right ones. Doesn't mean it was any less good of a trip. Keep losing the horse trail. It's right there. Well, we're at the very mouth of the river. Got a couple kilometers to go. And then uh, civilization. We're creeping up on 
28 kilometers now. We got about four left. Here we go. Let's do it. Headlamps Woo. and bear bells. Next week on Non Typical Nation. Typical Nation is brought to you by Badlands Canada, Geopack Hunt, Phone Scope, Smith Game Calls, Dave Booth Taxidermy, Anderson's Long Range Baiting and Guiding, North Pro Sports, Kodiak LED Lighting. <laughs>